Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, I'll show you how to automatically generate the preceding load statement while you're writing the ClickView script. This is a very simple technique, but it will be very handy. This little feature is available for OLEDB connection while loading the data from the database. Generally, almost all of my scripts contains preceding load statements. This is where I change the field names to user-friendly format and also convert the fields into different formats like number to text or convert the numbers into dates and things so on and so forth. So it becomes tedious if you have long list of field names and uh, this is when you have to write the script, execute the SQL statement and extract the field names in and then uh, gen then just copy them back into ClickView script. Then you can perform the preceding load statement. To avoid all that, you can use this simple technique by which you can save a lot of time. So let's go to the script editor. So this is my simple statement. Let's call this uh, table as customers. So I have customers table and then let's reload this. And uh, once we reload, click on OK. And now let's create the f let's create a list box and let's select. Uh, it's not showing system fields. So let's go ahead and enable uh, system fields here. Uh, beg your pardon, it's not here. Wrong shortcut. So it's here. And so this is where this checkbox the friendly tip again uh, shows the system fields. Once click on OK, now let's click on list box and select field as the field name, dollar field. So here we go. Now we have all the field names. So we have around 29 fields here. So if you wanted to perform preceding load and if you wanted to get these field names out, either you have to export them to Excel or copy them and paste them back. Uh, sometimes it's painful when you have 100 fields and uh, if you're dealing with 400 fields or something like that. So let's go back and to script editor. Let's see how we can solve this. I'll delete this statement. Uh, I'll probably keep customers for now. Uh, ignore the red underline there. And uh, I've already created the OLEDB connection. Now let's click on select. You'll see the wizard here. This is like a click view wizard. It shows for OLEDB connections and especially for the SQL connections, they are really friendly. So uh, let's go down and scroll for, we are looking for DIM customers. I might have missed it. There we go. So we have DIM customers here and it's text order or original order. Let's select text order. That's fine. And then here you can have as columns and then you can say preceding load. Check this. So check this box. Once you do that, it creates, your wizard actually creates the click view script. You can click on add. If you have multiple statements, you can click on add and click select one more table as well. But in our case, it's only one table. So I would rather click on OK. There we go. So you have this, uh, let me just format it. I like to keep things clean. Okay, so we have the customers table here and then we have the actual SQL statement and then it's performing preceding load and you're getting all the field names. Now, if you wanted to change anything, you can change here directly. You probably, if this is your key field, I would write this as customer key, so on and so forth. So this is a very small and simple technique if you wanted to automatically generate the field names in preceding load. I hope this helps and uh, I would strongly encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.